Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. We just gained access to the science lab, so let's explore. I assume we have to do the same steps that we did before, the same assignments. But here? Is that reflected yet, or...? No, it still says they're all done. We've already seen this conversation. Shall we go towards the glow over there? I can, oh. Stop there. Take a look around. Check out the photos on the pin board. Do you see them? The figures. Weird, huh? Weird, huh? Fact or faked? Did the teacher fake them? Or was it the kids? Take a good look. Try and pinpoint all the differences. Differences between what? I'm not quite sure what they mean. Let's at least find the figures in all the pictures. I don't even see the figure in this one. Oh, there's a child. I mean, I could say, hey, they're simply double exposures, but given that we've seen floating orbs on the cameras every 10 seconds, probably not. Oh, up there by that chair. We visited that. A ghost carriage. Oh, I can... Find something. Oh, I'm supposed to click on the things that are not actually there. Nope, that's nothing. I thought like a hotspot would appear and the cursor would change, but no. Okay, well let's go back over the old ones then. Find something. This is the one where I couldn't find anything. Oh, there's a couple small children down here. Nice one. Yeah, well done. Not faked. How do you know? Exposures. So, the plot thickens. You've got a talent for ghost hunting. So, I've left a special piece of kit for you out by the van. Hmm? Hold on, I want to look at everything on here before we go. Oxford Education System Class Monitoring. For Thomas Harding. A curious day, 
the children have captured unexplainable figures during the photography task. At first I thought Darren was up to his tricks, using double exposure, a trick used by many to fake ghost photos. I'll pinpoint the irregularities, a kind of spot the difference. If there is fakery at work, I will soon know. There is an uneasy feeling in the class. The boys are talking about the Nightmare Man. Is this... um... Is this the result of recent occurrences? There's no way you could look at those pictures and tell whether it's a double exposure or not. But certainly all of them could have been made with a double exposure. The Nightmare Man, that is what it says here. Before I go any further in here, let's go see what they've left for us. Hey, just a reminder, the thermal cap is waiting by the van. Dude, you spoiled your own surprise. What the hell? me out. It... It moves depending on where I'm looking, but the device itself is not moving. Does it have an orb camera on the front of it? It's weird. It's very convenient, though. Uh, that flashlight doesn't affect it, thank god. Yeah, let's go check out the attic. What's so hot over here? This little cement mixer, I think, is what that is. I want to check out that chair where we saw the figure. ghost? Could be. Or it could be you. Your presence. It set something off. Got that magic aura that pisses off ghosts. There's a handprint. Nicely done. A clear handprint. <laughs> Great. There's another one. Good evidence. A handprint? Great find. Hard to spot. Well done. I thought it was the camera, but I guess not. Big hot spot on the wall. Ooh. Nicely done. A clear handprint. Yep, you've got something there. Confirmed ghost has hot, dirty hands. Definitely. 
definitely a temperature change. I didn't even really see that one. The best we've had, in fact. How many have you had? You want a regular job, or want to join us? Based on your work, I'd happily have you on the team. So, big prince, obviously. Got to be a bloke. It's your mystery attic man. He wants you to know he's there. You all right? What was that noise? Check out. Check out Attic One. I've got glitching on the cam. Use the thermal. Something has changed. Now oh, fuck. <laughs> Do the handprints not matter anymore? I guess they don't. Visible? To the naked eye? What did you what did you find? Hold it up to the to the camera. A key? L library? Excellent. Was it there before? Why why is it hot? Better make your way to the library. It's a train carriage. Out the front. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think it's Pretty close to the lab, actually. So, a ghost left a key for me to go into the library. It either wants me to learn something there, or it's a trap. What the hell was that? Anyone? Guys, come in. Yeah, I found that too. Earth tremor. Tell me this is a stunt. Or the house. What do you want to do? Uh, stay. If it's a tremor, it's over. We're good. Did you say stay? Over. Uh, yep. Yeah, business as usual. You're a mad dickhead. Uh, yeah, and you're a drama queen. Experience the time tremor in the attic. A time tremor? So it's a tremor from a different time. Good. I was worried I was going to be locked in there or something. Yeah, this is it. Over. Ben tells me you're in the library. You know the drill. Baseline with the EMF. Record the place for the EVPs. Scan with the ghost box. And also, this is Bear. Remember to check the thermal cam. 
Yeah, see if you capture anything. It's new ground for us. Now do I have an assignment list? It's still the old task list. Maybe that was just for the tutorial. Another time, different from the one we saw in the attic, also stopped, of course. That's also probably important. It's always important. Clocks. Stopped clocks. Ah, oh, the handprint was a hint, I think, to tell me to... Get there? I think I clicked on it. Maybe? It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, yeah, that's where the handprint was. Oxford and Thames Valley Education Service, Thomas Harding, teacher. Let's get the thermal cam out of there so I can see. That's a radio, just like the one that's in the attic. Could be one of the attic rooms that it's in, I think it is, but looks really different in the picture. Oh, I can't take it, it stays here. It's gotta be important. Oh yeah, and they're probably gonna quiz us about this place. So Thomas Harding's ID. Uh, Thomas Harding was what exactly? Just teacher. Not more specific than that. Radio in the attic. Metabomb, antiseptic ointment. The sun. Summer heat brings travel chaos to roads. Slums. Child poverty disgrace. Another figure. And there's the radio back there. Oh, that's the room with the stopped clock in the attic. I wonder if I should take the radio and, like, put it where it is in the pictures. Oxford Education System, Library Services, Thomas Harding. Um, list of books and who they were borrowed by and when they should be returned. Anything that I can get from this right now? These are crossed off. Withdraw. Oh, I guess they took the book with them or something like that. They withdrew, so right in the book off. And for Haunted House, it says check on P. P. Ellis. Jaunty for girls. No need to return. Why? Oxford Ghosts. Fascination? Question mark. The children's book requests are rather macabre of late. A group chat about recent happenings is in order. Oxford Ghosts. We have that, don't we? Yeah. Ah. 89.3. The station. Just put that in my notes. Don't know if anything else has to be in my notes. July 22nd. Actually, hold on. Are we already at the... Uh, oh, this is all the pages. Okay. 
July 22nd, too hot in the library. Reading class took place on the terrace. The kids seemed distracted, asking questions about radio stations, how they work. Why a sudden interest? Pirate radio stations? June 25th. The kids are talking about Ollie. They say they've heard him on the radio. I suspect Daz is behind the prank. I shall read them The Boy Who Cried Wolf as a lesson. July 1st. Ghosts and the Supernatural? Most kids show an interest in the paranormal, but all at once. My steadfast denial of the supernatural fell on deaf ears, not helped by the thunderstorm. July 3rd. Even here, away from the house, I can still feel its presence. They were right. There are voices on the radio. Voices I know. I heard Ollie calling out, and others. And my father, my grandmother. How can this be happening? The sixth. I know what I must do. The voices will stop. I shall hear no evil. So, between July 1st and July 6th, a lot of bad things happened that made Thomas Harding spiral to doing, down into doing something bad, probably. So make sure I haven't missed anything on the thermal cam now. I can't click on this handprint. I don't think you click on any handprints at this point. I, I think they're just kind of to help you know where stuff is if you see them. Something important is there. Let's try EMF. Just this whole location doesn't even matter what I point at. Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to put that time in my notes as well. This would show me anything. and dates. Names, books, numbers, and dates. Hmm. 
names, books, numbers and dates. I'm not sure what the numbers are if they're not the dates. creepy. I have no idea if this game has deaths, but I know it has no autosaves. See, I want to go back upstairs and listen to the radio at that frequency, but I should do what they tell me to do. Or they'll probably incessantly annoy me on the radio. Science Red Door, 4395. Shut up. It's so, so bloody, bloody obvious. obvious. What, what is? The props, the setup, it's all fake as shit. It's, it's an experiment. experiment. Some, Some scenarios, scenarios have been... Scenarios? <laughs> this is for hits and you know it. Ooh, Jen and I. Jen and you, yeah, I get it. Is this for YouTube? No, it's an experiment. And the newbie, what do they know? Nothing, and it stays that way too. You know what? Do your soddy experiments yourself. Where are you going? To get some air. I'll come with. I'll explain. Explain what? Well, it started with a book. Uh-huh. About old Lord Harwood. Right, go on. is going on? Is this team actually here, or are they just ghosts that died ghost hunting a while ago?
Main hall. This large room should have been a grand open space to host country parties and formal gatherings. But Lord Harwood is not recorded as a particularly social man. It was once a hotel reception back in the 1920s when Harwood House was briefly popular with the famous and well-to-do. It was promoted as a country hotel famed for its hunting, shooting and other country pursuits. But newspaper reports at the time suggest debauchery, drinking, drug use and other frivolities of the Roaring Twenties. Later, the main hall was converted to a lobby when the house operated as Shangri-La Children's Home. There's a lot we're leaving unexplored because right now I just want to know what the hell's going up with Steve and the others. here before so we know Steve is hiding something from us but like what were we hearing it sounded like a ghostly echo of the past hey fancy some work this is the hub screen you've got access to all the cameras get us some good results and you'll get access to upstairs. Important, don't tell the newbie about the deaths. It would ruin the experiment. The person talking to me has gone back to behaving normally really quickly. I don't know if I should keep poking around in here or go back to the science room. I have to recreate that tone, don't I? I don't know if I want to do that right now. so much to explore. The good stuff is waiting to be found, and you can find it. Connecting. Oh my god. three dials to filter out rogue interference and noise from the audio feed. This 
I will not tolerate you. Oh, that was the one, the one that blows my ears out. Good effort. You're doing really good. I will not tolerate lies. That was a really cool mini game. Creepy as hell hearing ghostly voices and modifying the sound in ways that makes it sound even more ghostly and weird. This is getting ten times creepier than it was before. I don't know how long I should do this for. Hey, well done. But there's a lot of cameras we haven't even looked at once. For a, one at a new place. I will not come here with lies. The most handsome is the city's imagination. I will not come here with lies. The most handsome is the city's imagination. I will not come here with lies. I will not come here with lies. The city's imagination. I will not come here with lies. camera, I think. Maybe it's not location specific, what you hear? In that case, I mean, let's just look at all the cameras. Wait a second. That shows... When I'm zoomed out here, you see a painting in there. But then here we don't. What the hell? Overlooking the yard and the greenhouse. Uh, <laughs> well, oh wait, go back there actually. What happened to the ceiling? Husband, father, owner, commissioned the house 1747. Possible suspect in the disappearance of the Jericho Five. Why did Harwood build here? Read the boring archaeology book, guys. <laughs> Something was here, but it's been torn up. Ollie. Thomas Harding mentioned that they thought maybe Ollie was the one pulling the pranks that weren't actually pranks. Ollie Tanner, resident school, Shangri-La, 
See police report 1983, victim number one. Oh. 1983, patient record. Ollie Tanner, date of birth 31st of October 71. Notes Dr. H. Edwards, 5th of July. Scratches to the arms, back, and legs. Clearly self inflicted. No treatment as yet, but matron and care staff told to be steadfast and strict. 28th of July. Called to Shangri La. Reports of wild, feverish behavior of subject. Upon investigation, the pantry door was found open, allowing access to sugary food and confectionery. Advise staff to lock pantry from now on. Yes, that's what did it. The sugar. 14th of August. Significant bruising to the lower back and rib cage suggest immediate relocation. Patient talked of the demon in the walls, leading me to suspect an intruder to the care home during nocturnal hours. Staff deny this is possible. 22nd of October. Patient showing signs of malnourishment. Claims that Edgar's, uh, Edgar has been stealing his lunch and evening meal from inside his stomach. Advise patient be isolated from the other children more as a precaution and to allow individual observation. The delusions must be stopped. Thomas Harding. Lived in the attic east, died in the classroom. Gruesome stabbed himself in the ears with his own pen. They did say they were going to make the voices stop. Oh, this. Oh, no, I took it. The. That's the suicide pen. The pen came from a local manufacturer who still makes the same type. So this is a good replica trigger object. Oh, it's a replica, thank God. That would be the object of death that we should put on the tracing whatever paper. Shock suicide at Shangri-La. Care worker mute, mutilates face in front of kids. Um, this text is barely readable. Investigating the latest suicide. The latest suicide. <laughs> After teacher and care assistant da, 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 in front of the pupils. Yeah, there's nothing really there. Lizzie Prem, junior care nurse, Shangri-La, suicide, bathroom, 1984, victim number three. Ooh, these symbols. These symbols are what's above the, um, the padlock outside. I can never escape. I know that now. I thought I could leave, never come back, but it is here. The voices, the darkness. It is taken what used to be me and left only a shadow. I feel myself fade with each passing hour as the taint grows in strength. No one believes me. They do not see what I see. The man in the walls. He pursues me always. He never tires. He never sleeps. The darkness seeps from beneath. As Harward decays, the blackness grows stronger. Soon all will be lost. I cannot stand to watch as we are taken one by one by one. Mother, father, I am sorry. It is my only escape. I hope you understand. Lizzie. There's some words that are in bold, it looks like. Here, taken, grows, darkness. But putting them together, I don't think they mean anything. I mean, leave, here, taken, grows, darkness, soon all will be lost. That doesn't say anything. article about the death. 
The parents of care nurse Elizabeth Prem, 19, have spoken of their anger and frustration at news stories claiming their only daughter was suffering depression prior to her shocking suicide at the Shangri-La Children's Home. She was a normal, modern girl who loved life, said Mr. Prem. She was never miserable, never depressed. Police say the tragic death in which Lizzie cut her own throat with a broken mirror shard is a shocking event. Something, something, no suspicious circumstances. Horror home to close. Edgar, 1749. Lady Harwood, 1749. Oh, right. Edgar was the son that died of scarlet fever, was it? Um, son, heir, died 1749, described as sickly and pallid by all who saw him, which was very few. Scarlet fever or foul play. Isabella Harwood. Wife, mother, married to, uh, married to Harwood, her son Edgar died from scarlet fever. Died of a broken heart? Fell or pushed? Devener's Guide to Antiqui Antiquities of Oxfordshire, 1923 edition, Wolfenden. Hidden away in the wooded hills of Wolfenden, 13 miles from Oxfordshire, in the 18th century country house of Lord Harwood. The building itself is of some interest to historians, featuring reclaimed materials from the original building that stood on the site for at least three centuries previous. Little is known about the building's original purpose. An archaeological survey conducted by Thomas Morlaes in 1893 revealed foundations and underworks of a much older building, thought to have been a place of worship, although no parish records exist to confirm this. Local legend tells us that the location is steeped in folklore, leading many to believe the location was rife with occult activity and witchcraft. The current owners, who run the house as a country hotel, invited the author to attend a seance in the old cellars of the house. The gothic archways and passageways, which many believe ramble for some fair distance, provided a dark, somber atmosphere. The night was not without incident as the assembled group heard unexplainable noises and witnessed strange dark forms which the author cannot confirm as mere shadows. Safe Zones Ground Floor So we're in the hall right here. Just came from the science place. It also lists runes there, but we didn't check any of that out. And this is just the ground floor. I've got a feeling this game is really huge. It's really detailed. Mm, lower floor. Is there a combi for the padlock to the basement? I heard one of you down there. Probably wasn't one of them. Carmen Oduka, alive in a Jericho care home. Residual energy. Urgent. Dear Dr. Edwards, I implore you to something, something, the situation. I fear the children and the care staff are in danger. The sightings are not an isolated case, as you suggest. Neither do they affect only the children in our care. The care staff, including something redacted, and the junior nurse, have threatened to leave. I have persuaded them otherwise. The home must be relocated to a suitable venue as soon as possible. I fear that we are being terrorized by the house itself, those who once dwelt within. There have always been stories about Harwood House, tales of demons, ghostly apparitions, and devil worship. It sounds hysterical and unprofessional, 
something something, but I must stand by my own experience. You see, I've seen the figure the children speak of. A wretched, sickly child where there should be none. He is a ghost, a phantom, whose intent remains unknown. You must act now, please. Matron, did not die here or anywhere near. Time echoes. End the nightmare. Care home workers face difficult questions at inquest. Care authorities have expressed relief at the closure of the Shangri-La Children's Home after two suicides shocked the local community. The care home, based at Harwood House, is being investigated following accusations of abuse were brought by senior administration in Oxford. There is evidence to suggest that staff at the care home have been corrupting the minds of both the junior staff and children in their care, said Dr. Edwards. I only wish we had acted sooner. That part's circled for some reason. That's the board, so that's the main people we're dealing with. Is that the, the deaths that they were keeping from me? Watch the cams. Look for activity. Log the info. I already did, my dude. Do you want me to do more? No thanks. feels like the game's been cracked wide open. Like before, you're pretty much limited to one place and then opened up a new place like the science room. But now, I just have the whole damn house to explore. I'm scared. Well, let's start with here. <laughs> 